Hey everyone, and welcome back to The Screeny. Over the course of the decades, The Simpsons has come up with some pretty out there topics. From adult movie making to anti-gay messages, they've covered a lot of ground. There's nothing that is out of bounds to the writers, and honestly, it's a surprise some of these episodes were allowed to air at all. Join us as we take a look at 10 messed up Simpsons episodes that should be censored. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos about your favorite movies and TV shows. Number 10. Homer's Phobia when it comes to talking about controversial subjects, Matt Groening and his team of writers aren't shy at all. In Homer's Phobia, Homer made a new friend voiced by John Waters. After a while, he finds out that John is gay and becomes incredibly worried about his friend's influence on Bart. Rather than realize that it's no big deal like he should, Homer goes off the deep end and takes Bart out to do manly things like hunting. Of course, Homer comes around in the end and understands how stupid he's being, but it's touch and go for a moment there. Initially, the powers that be didn't want to air the episode, crossing out all of the script and giving the writers two pages of notes to go through. Luckily enough, a new president was appointed to Fox soon after who was all for the episode. It ended up being so highly praised that it won an Emmy for Outstanding Animated Program. All's well that ends well. Number 9. That 90s Show if you've been a fan of the show since the very beginning, then you may remember that Marge and Homer's love story was originally set in the late 70s. As the story went, the two met at high school before going on to fall pregnant and eventually get married in the early 80s. Then, many seasons later, the writers decided to change the entire narrative with an episode called That 90s Show. It was a retelling of the Simpson love story, which saw Marge and Homie meeting in the 90s instead of the late 70s, supposedly to update the story for the modern age. Sadly, fans didn't see it that way and thought it did the series a huge disservice. Although some appreciated the 90s references, it just wasn't the same. A few seasons later and the story was back to the way it used to be, and it's as if the whole thing never happened. Ah, cartoons. Two Bad Neighbors the Simpsons have had a beef with the Bushes longer than Kanye West has been crazy. The initial problem started way back in 1992 when President George H.W. Bush said in a speech that American families need to be more like the Waltons and less like the Simpsons. The Prez was referring to the 70s series that focused on a family with good old-fashioned values rather than the crazy yellow squad that we know and love. The Simpsons didn't let it slide and the following week a line was edited in where Bart took a swipe at Bush, saying, Hey, we're like the Waltons. We're praying for an end to the Depression, too. Hey, we're just like the Waltons. We're praying for an end to the Depression, too. Years later, and the beef was still sizzling on the grill in the episode Two Bad Neighbors, which saw the former president and his wife Barbara move in across the road from The Simpsons. They end up getting into a prank war with each other after George Sr. takes it upon himself to spank Bart. It's difficult to imagine the current president of the United States being comfortable with an episode like this, isn't it? It's pretty messed up, but the episode was very well received. Number 7. A Streetcar Named Marge this episode caused controversies for a variety of reasons. Trying her hand at amateur dramatics, Marge gets cast as the downcast and slightly lunatic Blanche Du Bois in a version of the famous Tennessee Williams play A Streetcar Named Desire. The play is set in New Orleans, and the show took aim at the famous city by writing an original song that said it was the home of pirates, drunks, and whores. Of course, the people that actually live in New Orleans were really peeves that one of the most famous shows on the planet spoke about them in a less than kind way and an uproar ensued. Fox received over a hundred complaints, leading the writers to apologize the following week in the only way they knew how. On the chalkboard in the opening credits, Bart writes, I will not defame New Orleans. Nicely done. Number 6. Money Bart 
This episode as a whole is pretty much okay, or at least as okay as you can expect this cartoon to be, but the opening sequence caused quite a stir. We all know that every episode has a different beginning that sees the Simpsons gather in the living room, with a funny gag thrown in there for good measure. This time around, the animators outsourced and roped in the artist and political activist Banksy to write it. When the family sits on the couch, the camera zooms out and they become a picture of themselves on a wall in a sweatshop in South Korea, where rows and rows of workers work tirelessly to make the merchandise for the series. Some of them are frail, they're all looking worse for wear, and some of them even have bandages. Banksy was clearly taking a swipe at some of the awful working conditions overseas, and it struck a chord. The founder of animation company Acom called the stunts excessive and offensive. Luckily, that's what the artist was going for. Number 5. Bart V's Australia the Simpsons go abroad for the first time in this episode, where Bart is indicted for fraud in the Land of Oz. The family travel there so Bart can apologize and try and make peace between the great nations. However, like pretty much anything the Simpsons do, nothing goes to plan. The Australians propose to punish Bart by giving a kick to the butt with a giant boot, but the renegade youngster doesn't accept it and instead moons the judges. Typical Bart. Australians were really unhappy with how they were portrayed and sent in hundreds of complaints to the writers, with some saying that they were depicted in a bad light and made to sound South African. The writers didn't apologize, but instead said that the whole thing was meant to be a parody, and if they didn't get that, it was just too bad. Number 4. Something About Marrying in the mid noughties same-sex marriage was a hot topic and not legal in a lot of states. These days, most states allow same-sex marriage and all is how it should be. Although, there's still some with a way to go. The Simpsons joins the discussion with the episode Something About Marriage, where same-sex marriage is legalized in Springfield, although it's not because it's the right thing to do. The town simply wants to boost its tourism. Yeah, that's not cool. Loads of things happen in this episode that set tongues wagging, including Marge's sister Patty coming out as a lesbian. Marge initially doesn't support her sister's choice, while Homer is the opposite way and becomes a minister. On the whole, the episode was welcomes, but there were those who didn't feel like it was appropriate viewing and lambasted Fox for letting writers get away with it. Number 3. Blame It on Lisa it was time for another family holiday when the Simpsons headed to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to look for a missing orphan that Lisa had been sponsoring. Of course, Homer manages to get himself kidnapped. Similar to other offshore Simpsons adventures, the host country didn't take kindly to how it was portrayed on screen. And in this case, we can't say we blame them. Animators made Rio de Janeiro look like a complete dump, full of rats, crime, and kidnappings. They also heavily featured stereotypes that did nothing for the country's tourism and suggested that the dances, the conga, and the macarena were cultural staples when neither dance came from the country at all. Rumor had it that Rio Tour, the tourist board of Brazil, had big plans to sue Fox for every cent they were worth. The government was fully supportive of taking it to court too, but under American law, the show was protected by the First Amendment. The writers apologized and everything was eventually forgotten, with the family even making a return journey to the country in a later episode that was much more positive. Number 2. Codependence Day this episode is possibly one of the most controversial in the show's history, mainly because Marge should have divorced Homer for his heinous actions. It's not the first time that the long-suffering wife should have picked up and left, and it won't be the last. The husband and wife duo are enjoying a trip at a winery when the pair starts to get a little sozzled, and Marge goes off the booze. That is, until Homer persuades her to go to Oktoberfest, and they end up getting so hammered that they get in the car and try try to drive home. When Homer is behind the wheel, they get into a car accident and rather than take responsibility for being an idiot, he frames his wife and manages to convince her that she was the one who decided to drive. Marge gets arrested and sent to rehab, but despite telling her the truth of what happened, Marge forgives Homer and the couple stays together. Nothing makes sense in this world. 
Number 1. The Bonfire of the Manatees Every now and then, an episode pops up that manages to shock the living daylights out of us, but that's why we love this show, right? The Bonfire of the Manatees had it all, but it centered around Homer getting into trouble with the local mob boss, Fat Tony. Tony agrees to let Homer off the hook if he shoots an adult movie in his family home. So of course, Homer agrees and lets the mob get to work on Lemony Lickets, a series of horny events. Marge and co. are none the wiser as the family patriarch sends them off to see Santa. But when they get home early, the entire family are exposed to, well, everything, if you know what we mean. Marge briefly leaves Homer before forgiving him once again. Then there's a brief cameo by Alec Baldwin and some manatees. Seriously, how do they come up with this stuff? Thank you very much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more amazing content. And don't forget to check out one of the other two videos on your screen.